Well, and, and I think another interesting dynamic to that is, is the months that it took in, in putting that all together and meeting with the governor's office and getting decisions, again, on the overall policy of the budget. You know, then the governor obviously would present it to the legislature, and, and we'd have to basically go through the whole act again with the legislature to convince them that the policy decisions were correct. But the governor has great power. They have the one-line veto, which is a tremendously uh, powerful tool. Uh, and that's, again, part of the gaming process. People put things in. They know they're going to be vetoed. Well, and the other, and the other part, too, of that is that, that the governor gets to certify revenues. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, so once, once the legislature gets the budget, they, they can't, you know, they're, yeah, they can change things around, but only within certain limitations. Well, I know we were just about to make the budget thing, and Clues, and they came in and whispered in my ear, said we've got $200 million more. You know, what a curse. <laughs> 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 because, of course, that's just red meat for the legislature. <laughs> well, I'd rather have that than, you know, we've that also, $200 million less, we've also yeah. been through yeah. the, yeah. you know, let's go rob the, the this fund or that fund, yeah, yeah. because there were, you know, one day we found several bags of uh, corp tax returns. Right. There was seventeen million dollars sitting in that bag. <laughs> Jim, no, no yeah. one do you was remember that? when we? Uh, Mike, you might remember when did we? In which which budget year did we bring the pensions onto the budget? Uh, because they'd been <sighs> they'd been counted off budget. The pension obligations they'd never been considered part of of. Well, they, budget proper. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, was it the first right. budget? I think it was, was the third, third budget. The third budget we did that. Yeah, because the uh, and we'll, we're going to get into the pension bond deal yeah. uh, in quite a bit more detail. But that was the other thing was, yeah. we had this four and a quarter billion dollars in unfunded liability. And then wasn't there a bo some bond issue too that had been just kept off the books? Well, there, there was, was over a billion. Yeah. Yeah. A, there was, was over a billion, billion dollars worth of capital billion. projects yeah. that hadn't been recorded. Yeah. Well, they were, yeah, the bonds that hadn't been on the books were the ones that were not, of the agencies that were not supported by their own revenues. See, those had always, like the Sports Authority. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if all, some of their bonds were supported, but not all of them, by right, any means. Right. And, uh, and so those bonds had to be bought back. The accounting rules changed in 94, I believe it was. And there may have been a year of grace uh, or something. It wasn't an instant thing. But a lot of times, one of the issues was that right away, the Democrats and others criticized you editors for increasing the debt, supposedly from $5.7 <laughs> billion all the way up to $16.7 billion, you know? Mm -hmm. But in point of fact, they weren't, wasn't the same debt, wasn't defined the same way, because the 5.7 did not include, I think there was insurance, uh, remember we had that insurance fund that was set up and there was big yeah, debts? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that was a, yeah. 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 And then we worked with taxation and OMB to transfer because you're right wrong because of accounting rules to put all those bond issues that were off balance sheet onto right. the books. <laughs> so they we were, were approved by the legislature though. So these were all initiatives that were approved by the legislative legislative actions, but yeah. just weren't on the Yeah, I mean, I, let's be clear. I don't I don't mean to imply that anything underhanded was going on. No, yeah. it, it was an it accounting was procedure. Of, and they also brought the unfunded liabilities of the pension funds on in that package mm -hmm. so that the amount of debt at the beginning of your term was really uh, 10.4 billion and it went to about 16 and a half billion mm -hmm. but it was a growth over eight years or seven years of something like seven percent a year well, which was not only that which was much had, less than our growth of revenues we had a reauthorization of the TTF in there yeah. there, were, there were several you know there were several bond <laughs> issues that everybody agreed were necessary but whatever you say about it we didn't do a good job of, 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 of on a PR basis. Right. Well, one selling the no pension bond. No. I don't want to get ahead of it, but, but any of this. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not simple. It's not easy to explain to people.